you guys just have a quick magical voxel tutorial video for you all you want to make your objects larger in magical voxel you just go up here where it says 40 40 40 select that give it a very large number say 1200 um, you can see that our box has gotten much larger but it's only at 126 uh, length width and height and not the 1200 that we put in so what gives um, 126 is magical voxels voxel limit for objects but there is a way to work around this so I'll show you how to do that right now you let's just first fill this cube clicking F for face and clicking attach click the bottom and then drag it up drag the center up as well now we have this cube if you go into render you can see that this cube is clipping into the ground and we don't want that we go back to model and then over here on the right you go over to these three little dots with the lines click on that for outline and then you want to click on root you can see here is another viewer and the cube seems to be placed underneath this plane uh, this is basically the horizon line and you want to bring this up because this is what's causing the clipping so you click on this blue arrow you just drag it up until it's above the horizon line like that go back to render now you can see our cube is not clipping anymore go back into model now zooming out of this outline view you can see that we have this darker gray area this light gray this light gray represents the maximum distance magical voxel renders objects and so for demonstration purposes I'm just gonna click on this object and click and hold shift and while holding down shift click on one of these arrows this will allow me to duplicate the cube as such so again just click on this cube or any object that's selected press and hold shift and then just drag the arrows like that and you can see that in this root area we are creating new objects every time we're performing this action now let me just put these cubes at the very end of these, uh, basically put the cubes at the corners here I gotta show you guys something let's say that this is our artwork and we want to upload this but first we want to check out the light setting so we go to render and you will notice how we are missing those cubes that were at the corners you see these cubes are missing so why is that? well I honestly have no idea why that's the case but a way to fix this and to make those cubes show up is that in your light settings you click on these bars right here for sample and just go down to geometry and you want to check make sure sparse is checked as you can see checking this box allows us to see the cubes that were at the corners and that is basically it let's say you want to um, change one of the cubes right let's say I want to give this a indent as such in the center and like that let's say we're happy with that go back to render you'd see that all these other cubes share the same basically this cube affected all the other cubes why is that well because we were duplicating the object we kept referencing that same object that was originally created so basically this cube is the source of all the other cubes that are here and let's say we don't want to edit every single object that we've duplicated just make this a full cube again what you want to do is you hit control A for to select all and then control C to copy click on root and then press on this plus icon you can see it created like an empty frame just drag it out to show you that you see this empty frame here and you want to click on the first one and then hit control V for paste As you can see we have the contents that were copied from this cube 
I just hit Control D to unselect it. And now, if we do the same actions as we did with the other cube, like that, and go to render, you can see that this cube is the only one that's affected. This is because this is an entirely new object, whereas these cubes here, the ones that haven't changed, is one object. I hope that helps. More tutorials to come. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below or send me a DM on Instagram. Link in the description. Thank you.